So today really sucked. And it still sucks right now. But I know why. It hit me. It hit me what my big, big problem is. And my family's not going to be too happy when I get through saying this. But I'm going Yeah, my biggest problem is that I'm alone. I'm alone in this battle. Um, everyone is so afraid of losing their relationship with Kyra that they will not, they won't change anything about their lives. They all just hang out. And they do things like normal. And I just got left over here on, I just got left over here on Witch Island all by myself and called a liar. So I'm just laying here sad as fuck for the last 45 days because my tribe that I feel was supposed to put their foot down and be like, you do not treat your mother like this. You don't. You don't do it. And since you did hurt your mother and someone that has been so good to you and your husband, we aren't fucking with you until you go make things right because you're wrong. But that never happened. And then the life happened. And the real damage was done. All the lies, all the betrayal, all the accusations, all the rumors. And the live happened, and it was fucking soul-crushing. And most of my family didn't even watch it. No one even knew. I'm all upset over all these lies that they told to millions, to millions of people saying that I'm bipolar, I'm a witch, I practice witchcraft. I don't even, even really know all that was said. I can't even really think of it all right now. It was a bunch of bullshit and lies. But what I do know is that I didn't deserve it. Um, I gave Carter Tylenol. They said don't give him or a gel. I recorded a video with the Tylenol in the background and sent it to them. <sighs> it's kind of unfucking believable, right? And everyone keeps asking me, well, what did you do? Well, what did you do? You, you had to have done something more than that. No, I didn't. No, I gave Carter Tylenol without calling to Israel first. And it was like 9 o'clock here, I think. I don't even know. But I would do it again. I would do it again because I know what I'm doing. I've been a mother since I was 14. I said that a lot. Kyra knows. Caitlin knows. That's why Kyra and Caitlin felt comfortable leaving Carter with me because they know I'm a badass woman. I handle my shit. I love hard. I take care of the people I love. They know that I would never do anything to hurt Carter or endanger Carter ever. I, none of my kids. And because of those facts and because I know who I am as a woman, I'm standing my ground. I'm standing up for what's right. I, it doesn't matter if that's my daughter. It doesn't matter if that's my grandson. What they did to me was wrong. They did that to me because I didn't follow their rules. So basically because I didn't follow their rules. Just deem me unfit. Not worthy of talking to. Go get a mental evaluation. You need help. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you, witchy woman. There's something wrong. You need help. We're judging you. We're judging you hard. Stay over there. Go help yourself. Stay over there. <laughs> Fuck off. So, yeah, that's another reason why I'm having a really hard time healing over this is because I feel alone. Shit. You know, you're this, like, matriarch of the family one day. And then the next day, you're a bipolar witch who everyone's scared of. 
I've been waiting to make a video about this. I've been waiting to make the video. I didn't want to be so emotionally charged and I also was trying to figure out how to do it without saying that my family isn't supporting me the way I feel like they should be because I didn't want to offend anybody. But that's not helping me heal. Like I have to be authentic. I have to be truthful and um, speaking all my truth. I'm <laughs> putting the videos out there. I'm going to break it all the way down. And I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to be happy. But you know what? I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I haven't been happy for a very long time. And I do not feel valued. And I am not going to put everyone else's feeling above mine anymore. Because I went wrong somewhere. Because no one values me. Hmm. So guess what? Karen's on strike. And I'm going to heal myself by any means necessary. Because it's that serious to me. When depression and stress start affecting your physical health, you have to do something. You have to make a change. And um, that's what I did. Made some major changes. And um, no one's happy with me right now. Like I was saying, I haven't been happy with my family unit in a very long time. So now... Yeah, you have to make changes. And um, this was very healing. It wasn't what I planned to do at all tonight. Like, I was going to flat iron my hair, actually. But, you know, Kyra put out that video, and then everyone feels the need to send it. And then with it being, you know, Carter, six months today. And I've missed so much. I'm a little emotionally charged tonight. I'm a little pissed off. I'm a little hurt. And I'm a whole lot hurt. So, on top of everything else I have going on, I have to make this video because I have to say what I need to say. And I need to do it before the end of this year because I'm not taking this bullshit into 2019. Nope. I thought I was done. But um, I made the mistake sliding my DM the wrong way. And it's like all these messages pending. And the first one was some, I'm not even going to call her a woman. Don't know what. I don't know what you call them because I've never been that woman that gets online and rips apart women that are going through major life crises. I, I've never even thought to do that. But I think you'd be a... But I'm pretty sure that makes you a miserable bitch. Bitch. Why? Like, why? Do I, do I look like I care about your opinion? No. is one of those moments where it's like aha and then it's kind of one of those you have to own up to your part of it but um no one values me in this house my family they they do not value me and that's my fault and that's my fault because I didn't value myself and I kind of like set the stage and just showed them like how I deserve to be treated by the way I allowed Robert to treat me all these years and so my kids are literally a product of their environment all of my kids. I'm not going to say Preshi because she is only 11, but she learns from her siblings and her mouth is getting there too. So that's honest God truth. Um, my family does not value me and Kyra just brought it and Kyra and Kaylin, what they did, they just brought it public. Thank you. Thank you guys for that because actually you guys helped me so, so much, which at the time I didn't see it. I didn't see it as help. I really was just stuck feeling. But now, I'm not stuck. I'm actually inspired. Thank you guys for the pain. I needed it for my art. And now I'm about to let loose. I have a, I have a lot to say, I have a lot to talk about. Um, I just don't know really where I'm gonna start because I've said this before, like I've been abused by men since I was eight years old. And there's things that I can't talk about yet until like I can't, I can talk without emotion. Like right now, like clearly I can't talk about this. I had to take a minute and get my emotions together because that that's what I don't want to happen. That's why I have been not talking a lot about it because it's fueled with emotion. But not everything. And not everything, especially the current things going on in my life. Divorce, 
Kyra and Kaylin situation, um, what's led me to divorce, um, domestic violence, domestic abuse, my mental health. Those are things I could talk about without crying because I'm fucking pissed. I said I've been abused by men since I was eight years old and um, never again. 2018 is the last year I'll ever be abused by any man. Shit, scratch that. I'm not going to be abused by anybody. Like, my circle is so tiny right now, you guys. Like, if you don't treat me the way I want to be treated, I literally don't fuck with you. Pa. Like, if you feel like I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. And that's a whole other topic I could just talk about for days because I had to cut bitches off left and right and ba 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 ba. And now I look around, I'm like, I've cultivated a pretty cool ass circle. Love you girls. As you can see, I'm kind of fired up. So I have a few topics that I could talk about freely because freely because it's, those are the things that have gotten me to be so strong today. And for me to be on this fuck you Friday, like fuck all you guys. Everyone that I said, yes, everything that I've, everyone and everything that I've said fuck you about, I could talk about that freely. No problem. Feels really, really good. And I didn't realize like talking this out, how healing this would be. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm making, so I'm going to start making videos talking about how I got here and 